Welcome to this ANSYS how-to series video for Granta EduPack. In this video, we'll be focusing on the advanced feature in our chart select function. The advanced feature allows us to edit our chart axes by either combining multiple properties together or by splitting an axis into different categories. To begin, let's open the level one database and click the chart select button in the main toolbar. From the selection project panel on the left, Click the Chart Index button and open the Chart Stage pop-up window. Here, you can see our standard chart creation page for Grant EduPack. The Advanced feature is a button located to the right of the Category drop-down menu. Clicking the Advanced button opens another pop-up window. This window has three tabs, Attributes, Trees, and Constant slash Parameters. To begin, Let's focus on the Attributes and Constants and Parameters tabs, which can be used to create equations on our chart axes. The Attributes tab contains all of the property attributes available in the selected database. The list can be viewed as All Attributes or by category through the drop-down menu. The Constants Parameters tab gives us the option to include constants and parameters in our axes. For example, in the constants list, we can see Avogadro's number and the gas constant, R. Let's plot an example equation of Young's modulus divided by density. In the Attributes tab, scrolling to the bottom of the attribute list, we find Young's modulus. To add the attribute to the axis, simply double-click or click to highlight and press Insert. The attribute Young's modulus is now chosen for our axis. Simple mathematical operators can be found just below the main window. Click the slash for division. Any mistakes can be deleted with the backspace key on your keyboard. To find density, we can change the view to only general properties through the drop down menu. Click OK to apply this axis then click OK to plot the chart. We have now created a bar chart of specific stiffness, or Young's modulus divided by density. But what if we were only interested in this property for a particular material family group? Let's get back to the advanced feature. First, open the chart settings through the chart settings button in the chart toolbar. Then click the x-axis tab at the top of the window and click the advance button. The second tab in the Advanced Chart feature is Trees. This allows the axis to be split by material classes and subclasses, or property classes, depending on what plot is being created. For our example, let's say we're only interested in polymers, metals, and glasses. To apply these material classes to our axis, click Polymers and Elastomers and press Insert. Note how a preview image appears in the preview box. Glasses are a subclass, which can be found by opening the relevant folder. Once all three material families have been selected, click OK to apply and click OK to generate the chart. We can see the bar chart has changed. The bars are arranged in groups by material family. The amount of data on the chart has also decreased which can be beneficial for visualization during material selection. The advanced chart features can also be used to create more complex equations on the chart axis, called performance indices. To learn more about performance indices, open the chart settings window and click the What is a performance index link in the upper right-hand corner. In this how-to tutorial, we've covered the advanced feature within the chart select function in Granta EduPack. More information on Granta EduPack can be found in the description below. Be sure to check out our channel for more ANSYS learning videos, and thank you for watching.